This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, welcome back. So in this session, we are going to create a resource group. And then we will create a virtual network and then four virtual machine. OK, so we will. First thing what we have to do is to create a resource group. Resource group is a container wherein you can keep all your resources. OK, so if you have to delete uh, all the resources, you just delete the container itself and all the resources which are associated to that resource group will get deleted automatically. So that's the reason we need to create a resource group. Resource group is like a container wherein we will be adding all the uh, resources. Then virtual network is to connect all the computers to the same network. We don't have any network at the moment, so we will create a virtual network and then we will join all the four computers to the same LAN network. So it will be like this. We will have a LAN network. Okay. And then we will have uh, four virtual machines. And all these virtual machine will be connected to the same LAN network. So the first virtual machine name will be domain. The second will be database. Third will be your SCCM primary site server, SCCM PS, and the fourth one will be client. Okay, so we have to perform all these tasks. So let's do it step by step. So first thing what we have to do is you need to go to Azure portal. So let's go to Azure portal portal.azure.com. You need to sign in with the username and password and then what you have to do is you have the at the left hand side you have three lines either you click on that or search for virtual machine. Virtual machine you click on virtual machine. Then you have a, there are many things you know you 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 can search from the first thing we have to create a resource group so let's create a resource group so on the top or at the left hand side you click on resource groups and we need to click on add okay now you can name it anything of your choice i'm going to name it as rg resource group underscore west us okay so due to this covid 19 microsoft has restricted to create resources in multiple region, but uh, West US is uh, still open for us for free trial. So I'm going to choose West US. Make sure you choose West US. There are two options: West US 2 and West US. Make sure you choose West US. This one, West US, and then Review Plus Create, and then click on Create. So it's validating, and within few seconds, the resource group will be right here. So we'll have to wait for a few seconds and then we will see the resource group right here. So at the right hand side you have notification which shows you creating resource group in subscription free trial succeeded. Okay, looks like it is succeeded. So I'm going to click on refresh here. And still not there. That's yeah. Right here, resource group RG, that means re, uh, resource group underscore West US. Now, the second thing what we have to do is we need to, the first thing is done. The second thing is we create a virtual network so that all computers can be connected to that network. So we don't have any network at the moment. So let's search for virtual network. Virtual network. And click on add. Okay. Now here you have to give the resource group name. So give RG underscore West US, the one which we just created. So this virtual network is what? It's a resource and that will be a member of this resource group name. You can name it anything of your choice. Winit underscore anything of your choice. Okay. Either SEA or West US depends on you. Okay. I'm just choosing West US. And I'm going to choose West US. Make sure you choose West US here too. Okay. And then review plus create. So the subscription free trial and resource group and the name of this one. And make sure you choose the region West US. Don't choose any other region for now because uh, um, of this COVID 19. They have restricted it in multiple regions. So West US is the region 
if you have not chosen this one go back click on previous and then choose this west us click on create and now the virtual network it's getting created so within few seconds uh, the virtual network will be ready so it says your deployment is underway so we'll have to wait for a few seconds and if you click on refresh you know it's showing up the status and at the right hand side top it says deployment in progress deployment to resource group rg underscore west us is in progress okay now if you go back let me go back to the virtual network either you go from here or you can search on the top i'm going to click on this virtual network you see vnet underscore uh, either sea or west us uh, depends on you what name you have chosen and uh, this is connected to this resource group and the location is west us perfect now the third option is to create four virtual machines okay four virtual machine one is uh, domain second one is database third is sccmps and the fourth one is um, windows 10 client computer so one by one we will perform all the tasks so on the top you can search virtual machine now add and you have to choose the resource group so choose the resource group rg underscore the resource group which you have created and the name of the server the computer virtual machine so i'm choosing name as domain okay now the location make sure you choose west us for everything you have to choose west us as a, in the region section okay and you choose windows server 2019 data center okay windows server 2019 is the latest one let's let's choose this one and uh, it says two cpu and eight gb of ram no we will choose um, one cpu and 3.5 ram so let's click on change size and on the top you have clear filter click on clear filter and then you make sure you choose uh, this one d1 okay one cpu and 3.5 ram okay make sure you choose this one this option it's going to cost you somewhere around you know in your local currency it will show up so i'm going to choose d1 one cpu and 3.5 ram click on select and the name of the uh, username anything of your choice i'm going to type in kashif and password okay just choose any password because this is the username and password we will be using to log into the computer and by default it's gonna use this uh, rdp port 3389 so that you can remotely log into that computer and then you just have to click on review plus create it's gonna cost you somewhere around this amount in your local currency and create not from your uh, credit card it is going to cost you from the credit which you have got i have got this 13300 uh, somewhere around 200 us dollar credit so it's going to cost you from that amount not from your credit card so don't worry about about it guys it is basically going to cost you from the credit which you get during subscription in the free trial so first 30 days is completely free so you don't have to worry about uh, the pricing part after 30 days it will ask you to make uh, to convert the subscription from free trial to pay as you go you see you have option click here to upgrade to pay as you go if you do that then only microsoft will start charging you from the credit card uh, uh, or the bank details what you have given if you don't you don't have to worry about it it will get disabled after 30 days okay so first 30 days is completely free and after 30 days if you go upgrade to pay as you go then only they will ask you for the payment otherwise no charge will be deducted from your uh, account now so first account first machine is uh, getting ready now i'm gonna go back to the uh, virtual machine again so i'll click on this and choose this virtual machine so first machine is ready almost ready it's uh, creating now and uh, resource group is rg underscore west us and the location west us make sure you 
have chosen the right one now i'm going to add the second one and that's going to be the same resource group rg underscore west us and it's going to be database west us windows server 2019 data center okay and change size clear filter and d1 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 this one the same one cpu and 3.5 ram so choose that one and select then same username and password so that i don't have to remember multiple password and then review plus create and then create So it's getting ready deployment in progress right so if i click on refresh uh within few seconds the second machine will be ready now instead of waiting here let's create the third machine click on virtual machine again and add the third machine name SCM ps Resource group RG underscore West US machine name SCM PS primary site and Windows Server 2019 data center. Make sure you choose that one and the West US. West US. Okay. West US. And size D1, D1, D1. Yes, D1. You have to choose the same one here. Select same username and password shift and the password here and review plus create and create submitting deployment deployment in progress so within few seconds it will also be ready now instead of waiting let's create the fourth machine the last one click on virtual machines and add choose the resource group rg underscore west us and this is going to be client anything of your choice client or windows 10 west us make sure you choose west us as the region and Windows 10 Pro 1809, it's available. And then change size. D1, 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 yeah, D1. This one, one CPU, 3.5 RAM, okay? And then click on select. Choose the same username and same password to log into this box and review plus create. Validation failed. Um, okay, let's go back. Why the validation is failed? I'm gonna click on this. Operation could not be completed. Result exceeded. Approved. Let me go back to this disk. Basic details. Oh, uh, two CPU. That's the reason uh, it's not allowing because uh, you can have one CPU and 3.5 RAM. So let's click on change size again and uh, choose this one cpu and 3.5 ram let's choose that one yes now it should not create any problem so make sure you choose one cpu and 3.5 ram for all four computers every computer should have one cpu and 3.5 ram and review plus create this time it should not give any problem and create
Okay, looks like it is uh, getting ready now. If I click on the notification section, there are uh, two computers which are in progress. So I'm going to go back to virtual machine again. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so database is running, uh, domain is running, and SCCMPS is running. That means these three computers are up and running now. And uh, make sure you have chosen the right one. So all these three computers or four computers, whatever the computers you have created so far, all of them should be a member of the same resource group. Otherwise, you will not be able to uh, establish connection between those computers. So resource group, RG underscore West US for all these three computers and location West US. Okay, this has to be like this. So three computers are ready now and client computer is getting ready. If I click on this notification, yes. So the last one is getting ready. Deployment to the resource group. This one is in progress. So let's wait for a few more seconds and then that will be ready. So I see the client one as well, but it's creating. So we'll have to wait for this status. So it will change the status from creating to running within a few seconds. It will be up and running. And once it is up and running, when this status changes from creating to running, what you have to do is you need to stop these computers. Make sure you stop them. Okay, if when you are not using them because if you kept it running, then they will Microsoft will keep on charging uh, from the credit which you have got. So you will have, you know, the it will keep on charging from this credit what you have for what the first 30 days. So when you are not utilizing, it's just like utility bill guys. When you are outside, you turn off your air cons, you turn off your light, you turn off your uh, fan, and then you go outside, right? Similarly, if you are not using this computer, make sure you check all of them and choose a stop. Always after each session, you must do this. This is a mandatory step guys you must stop all the computers. Otherwise, they will keep on charging from the credit what you have got hourly basis, okay? So wait for a few seconds, okay? And then when the status changes from creating to running, then you stop, check all the boxes, and then click on stop and say yes. So this is a mandatory step after each session when you are done with your session when you don't need these computers to be on then stop them to save your credit so just a recap guys what we have done so today in this session we created a resource group then we created a virtual network and then four virtual machines. So currently the architecture is like we have one LAN network, right? And four virtual machines are connected. So this one is domain, this one is database, this one is SCCM PS, and the, this one is client. All of them are connected to the same LAN network. So once you're done, you make sure you stop them. So thank you for uh, attending the session. I hope the session was informative and I'll meet you in the next session. Thank you.